You're watching KCEN HD News, first in high definition. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. A very special morning here on Texas Today. The Mejia women's basketball team fresh off of their state title win in Austin. They dominated Rebecca. Absolutely. These Lady Cats are on fire. They lost to only two teams the entire year. And we want to welcome senior Brichelle Beecham and, of course, coach Randy Barger here, along with the rest of the state championship. Well, very good. And also we want to mention T. Owens is a freshman. She's back here somewhere. There she is. She's right behind me. T. Owens, a freshman, named the MVP with 23 points. So we definitely, there she, she's over Put there. Put your hand up, There T. she is. If you haven't had your flu shot yet, there are still plenty of areas across Central Texas currently offering the vaccine. Now let's toss it over to Chris at the desk. All right, thank you, Steph. We're just nine days away from the Super Bowl, so let's talk about wings, touchdowns, TV interceptions, and party guest fumbles. That tops this morning's consumer alert. 657, here are the six things you need to know before you go. Number one is where we start. A massive fire in Bell County has already burned more than 175 acres. Firefighters say it was caused by a campfire. Number two, if you haven't filed your taxes yet, SmartMoney.com has a seven-point checklist to help you prepare your own tax return policy or to catch your preparer's errors or any fraud you'd be responsible for. Number three, a subcommittee of the House Energy and Commerce Committee will hold a forum on mental illness and violence this morning. Number four, a Texas A&M cadet is still in the hospital after two of our fellow cadets were killed in a fiery car crash. Number five, Martha Stewart takes to the stand today in New York. In a courtroom this morning, she'll be testifying between J.C. Penney and Macy's. And the sixth thing you need to know before you go, the slow rollout of the latest budget cuts from Washington is giving the government time to figure out how to deal with them and prevent the next fiscal disaster, which you know will be right around the corner. In this morning's Military Matters, you're going to see more of those unmanned drones over the skies of Central Texas. Fort Hood is now home to the Army's newest in unmanned aircrafts. The Gray Eagle took its first daytime flight yesterday. Those are going to become more frequent as the 21st Cavalry Brigade learns to use them. KCEN HD News reporter Sophia Stamas shows us just how protected your privacy is. New from overnight, a diner in Colleen has major damage from an early morning fire. Why firefighters say high winds played a role. And police are investigating a double murder in Houston. How the man they're searching for is connected to the victims. And $2,500 worth of Girl Scout cookies have been destroyed. How and who police say would do such a thing. A two vehicle accident early this morning on Highway 190 sent one person to the hospital. That story and more breaking news on the way. And another Texas school district will now have armed guards at its schools. Plus, the students at Texas A&M get a multi-million dollar makeover and their stadium does as well. We'll tell you all about it. A two-vehicle rollover in Colleen, meanwhile, sent one man to the hospital with minor injuries. Bell County Fire Rescue responded to that accident around 2 this morning. It happened on Highway 190 near the Patty Hamilton exit. Rescue crews found two vehicles down the road from each other. The investigation is ongoing there. Boy, look at that video. A car upside down and crushed right there on that front end. Oof. New this morning, an overnight house fire in Temple leaves one person dead. This happened just before 1 o'clock on the 800 block of East Avenue N. Temple Fire Department arrived on scene to a home completely destroyed. Fire and smoke was still coming from the house. The justice of the peace was called in, and the person found inside was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators say the fire was accidental and started in the bedroom where a space heater was located close to bedding. Remember that with colder weather, to keep space heaters and anything which can burn bedding furniture at least three feet away turn the heater off when you leave the room or when you go to sleep and smoke alarms save lives as uh, sergeant peckall was talking about temple fire department says to make sure there are working smoke alarms always in your yes. home and we do have some breaking news this morning now to get to out of Colleen. We have an update on a standoff that started yesterday afternoon. Texas Today's Rebecca Schleicher joins us now live from the 3600 block of Tatanka Road. Rebecca, what is the latest on the scene out there? Now we've got a special treat for you live at the Farrell Center this morning. Has to do with basketball. That's absolutely right. That's where we find Rebecca Schleicher. Good morning, Rebecca. What's going on out there today? Hey, good morning, Chris. Steph, well, I'm checking back in from the Farrell Center. Well, police are on the hunt for a man who tried to kidnap and kill a child in Kumo Village on Fort Hood. Uh, just kidnap, rather. Excuse me. This is a sketch of the suspect. He tried to abduct the child on February 15th on post. He's described as a black man between 40 and 50 years old. He's about 5 foot 10 with a tattoo on the right side of his face. Here's a look now at his vehicle, which is described as a newer model, black four-door sedan, possibly a Mercedes. 
Benz, a $1,000 reward is on the table for anyone with information that can lead to an arrest. We're going to take a look outside right now from our nation's capital where the president will be inaugurated officially, or it was officially yesterday, publicly for the second time today. Mary's forecast coming up next. Back here, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid says they'll probably take up gun control sometime early this year. In Washington, for Texas Today, I'm Tracy Potts. Chris, Stephanie. We begin our news this half hour. Two police officers have been shot and killed in Northern California while investigating a sexual assault. You can hear the gunfire there. A neighbor caught the shot on his cell phone camera. The two officers were investigating the assault when a gunman fired at them. Boy, multiple rounds you can hear. A short time later, a suspect was shot and killed by police during a pursuit. Jody Arias, the woman who is in the spotlight for a brutal murder case filled with sexual testimony, will face more tough questions from jurors today. Arias is on trial for slitting the throat of Travis Alexander and shooting him in the head in his home. On Wednesday, the judge asked Arias a series of questions that demanded proof Arias was in fact scared of her boyfriend. They asked if there were locks on the closet door where she ran for refuge after being attacked. Instead of stopping, she grabbed a gun, she said, but couldn't answer the question about those doors being locked. How did you have time to get the gun down if he was right behind you? I don't know if he was right behind me or not. I just had the sense that he was chasing after me. And the jury also quizzed her about covering up that crime as well. Take a listen. Why did you put the camera in the washer? I don't have memory of that. I don't know why I would do that. When the trial day ended, there was still a stack of questions from jurors. She will face those questions today. Folks in Midland were a bit surprised by what the wind blew in on Monday. Yeah, talk about a fire hazard. Take a look at this. Tumbleweeds nearly cover this home. Wow. You can see them all piled up along the side of the house, on top and even crammed in the backyard. Homeowner Josh Pittman was shocked when he first saw it. Look at that. A text message. Uh, with a picture of the entire left side of our house here, and it's just completely covered in tumbleweed. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Pittman says he recently tore down a fence in his front yard that probably would have protected his home from the tumbleweed attack. He expects to spend the rest of the week now cleaning up this mess. Literally, he's going to need a truck or a controlled burn or something to get rid of all this. That's amazing. That is incredible. We leave you with some of the previous inaugurals from the past century. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Good. All right, Golden Globes, of course, were last Sunday night, but continuing a trend with fashion, now we're seeing toddler size fashion inspired by the Golden Globes. This is pretty cute here. Um, little kids, basically, you can see there, a designer decided to Whoa. imitate the look in a kid friendly version. Let's check in and see if the guys are ready. We'll hit them with that hard hitting question. Zach and Jim, Waco 100, are you there? Good morning, guys. Yes, was, come in. Was that, uh... That's us. No, you're, you're oh, hearing... Oh, that's you? You're hearing me. We're doing this wonderful story that more for love at first sight has occurred at Walmart than anywhere else ever. 